bricks. <laughs> We have done many Subarus in the shop and uh, we've highlighted some of those Subarus. You can check our other videos, but this is a bit of a special build. So it's been built by our good friends at Dale's Auto, which we uh, we tune a lot of the cars that, uh, that they build and they set up and they do an amazing job at setting up cars to the customer's preferences. And this particular model, uh, this particular car rather, the, the customer really wanted to have something big. So in Subaru land, when you want something big, you have to build the motor. And this car has a built motor with stage two cams. It's got an upgraded valve train. The motor can definitely take the abuse, which uh, as many of you know, the stock motors are not that amazing at, at doing. So Dales has put in the built motor, but not just that, they have put in one nice nail in here. Oh yes. So this is a precision 5862. It is externally gated. It is attached to a very large intake with a very large filter. It is supported by 1300 cc injectors and uh, also supported by an aqua mist water map system. Now, you can definitely tell that this car is a driver, which makes it all that much better. So, we're tuning this car via Acutech. We've actually been tuning it for, for a long time. Uh, the customer uh, has brought it in. We did a pump gas tune on spring pressure, and then we upped the spring pressure and, and we did uh, a WMI tune. So, what I'm gonna show you is the results from this 5862 on this built motor. I'm gonna show you what it does on pop gas. I'm going to show you what it does with the help of methanol. We're gonna take this thing for a drive because it does rip. And uh, maybe this is the kind of build for you. Maybe we can help you out on tuning and dialing in a build like this. But without further ado, let's jump right into the car and go over how it's done and what it does. So we finalized the tune on the car and the customer wanted launch control and flat foot shifting enabled. So I just updated that map with launch control and flat foot shifting. And I can just show you how quickly uh, we can flash the, uh, the car using the ECU tech software. So we enter utility mode right here and um, let me just go ahead and program the ECU. And the changes here, are, like I said, just flat foot shifting and launch control. And as you can see, it is flashed there you go so that's how quickly it can be flashed now because uh, this is a 2008 scan bus uh, based Subaru if we're remote tuning you then we can also send your tunes via the ECU connect app on your phone and you can flash it at home which we're actually gonna do with this customer once he leaves here should he need any sort of changes so now uh, the car is flashed, which is gonna do a cold start. This is full speed density. So one of the challenges with tuning speed density is getting it to have a nice, steady, stable idle when you're cold starting the car. As you can see, in this case, it is nice and steady and stable. Uh, we tune with both this uh, and the Cobb access port, of course, and uh, we, can, we can see all the data. I've got my presets here for tuning this car. Uh, I can start data logging right away, so I'm, I'm connected to the, uh, to the car. You can do this at home as well using your ECU Connect app on your phone and then you can send us any sort of data logs that you may have. So like I said, the car is already dialed in. I'm just going to show you how it drives a little bit on the dyno here uh, and, and then I'm going to go over the results and then we're going to go for a drive on the street because that's, that's what we really want to see. First of all, let's talk about the most exciting bit, the power this thing made, and it made a ton of power. So on pump gas, this car made 445 wheel, and on meth, it made 583. 
you can see the beautiful flat torque curve that it has just past spool at 4250 and it holds it flat to just about 6500 rpm uh, we're spinning her to 7400 rpm it just doesn't make sense to go much further although the motor can take it it's just not going to really breathe uh, up top now obviously with with methanol we're able to run higher boost levels and we're able to run more timing and that's because of the higher octane and the methanol system is the Aquaman system here. Uh, we've calibrated the, uh, the gain and the start point. The really nice thing about the system is that it, it actually follows your injection duty cycle. So you don't have to mess around a lot with dialing it in for different combinations. It just follows it along. So you can just set it once and then do all your calibration on the ECU side. You can actually see them overlaid a little bit better. You can see that we're also able to run a little bit leaner on, on meth because uh, the higher octane content, the alcohol content in, in methanol uh, is just going to be uh, prevent knock. So we can run a little bit leaner and, uh, and then we can, uh, we can also make a little bit of additional power uh, from that. So I was able to test this car in, in fourth gear and fifth gear to just make sure it's resilient and reliable. Um, at these numbers. So now that the car is uh, warmed up, I can show you guys of how this car drives even on the dyno. So this is an important aspect of, uh, of tuning a car that you want it to drive really, really well. Um, what I want to highlight is just how you have to dial in this volumetric efficiency table here that it's traversing across to make sure that when you come in and out of boost, it's all very smooth. You see how smooth that is? Of course it rips. Of course it does. It's not a question of that. But how it does it, how it gets there, That's what matters. And that's what distinguishes a good setup and a good tune from just one that will be just one dimensional. So now, now that it's dialed in on the dyno, now that we've got ourselves almost a 600 wheel horsepower STI, full speed density, time to take it out on the road and see how it does there. No brakes. Woo, that lit up the tires. Traction control came on. Do you want a fast four-wheel drive Subaru? This is the ticket. This car is a handful. You do give up a little bit of down low versus a stock turbo car but only just a little bit. So for example, stock turbo car could be full boost there and now we just have to wait for a brief second to just unleash the fury. It's a handful. If you got a lot of open space, which we don't in front of us right now, you're going to enjoy this a lot. If you're in a tight kind of city area all the time, maybe 600 horsepower is not the answer. However, for this customer, 600 horsepower is definitely the answer. He's got the place, he's got the roads. This car has been built for it. And now we finally dialed it in on the water math to deliver its full potential. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this build episode. We like to highlight some cool cars that we built. We like to highlight our own cars. Keep watching, keep following. If we can tune your ride, give us a call, get in touch. Until next time, see you guys later.